This facility had its ribbon cutting on October 7th. We had well over 1,000 people in attendance. The, the comment that continually came up again and again was this facility doesn't look like any other power plant in the nation. That this is really a very beautiful facility. While it is functional, uh, the, the people have been extremely pleased with the aesthetics of the building and how, uh, how it appears. As part of that, we had several dignitaries here, including Representative Rose, Senator Ryder, the Chief Executive Officer of the Illinois EPA, one of the Vice Presidents of Honeywell, and the U.S. Department of Economic Opportunity. During that day, we gave tours of this facility before and after, and we uh, figure we gave a little over 350 tours in a period of just over two hours. As part of the ribbon cutting, uh, the ribbon was cut by uh, myself, the Campus Energy and Sustainability Coordinator, our Chad Weber, our Mechanical Engineer, Mike Waddell, our Chief Operating Engineer, Paul McCann, the University Treasurer, and Gary Reed, the Director of Facilities Planning and Management. This has also really opened up potential long-term partnership opportunities, particularly with various organizations interested in getting future tours uh, of this facility including the Illinois EPA, Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, the governor's staff, among others. And so this has really been a huge boon to the economy. And as Representative Rose said, this plant represents uh, a winning trifecta, that it is a win for the students, a win for the taxpayers, and a win for the environment as well.